Hello and welcome to another PC Prini tutorial. Uh, today we are actually going to be going over another private server type thing. Uh, last video we did a private Jabber or XMPP server. Uh, today we are going to be doing a private Ventrilo server, which is sort of the best way to describe it is IRC with a voice chat. Uh, and this is a private server running on your Mac. So here we go. First of all, you have to do the obvious. It's pretty much, I, I should put a disclaimer, it must download mats. <laughs> now, for Mac OS 10, you're going to want Mac OS 10 PowerPC 32-bit, considering that's the only Mac OS 10 version they own. Um, Mac has a uh, program built into it to run PowerPC stuff, um, so it'll work. It just uh, for most PowerPC stuff, it just doesn't recognize the file type. For this, it's all uh, terminal anyway, so you know it's all it's all a bunch of ini files and running in terminal. So you want to go ahead and download the PowerPC version. I have already obviously done that. Now I moved and renamed my folder. So if you see anything that says Ventrilo server spelled out exactly like this, uh, make sure that you have, uh, you, you know where yours is and you know how to get to it and you know what it's called and you're gonna replace all, my, all that information with all of my information with yours. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is probably take a look at the .htm file. This is gonna give you some basics about the server None of this is really all that important except for this right here. This tells you what everything is in the INI file, and this is gonna be very important later on. When you finish reading this, and I would read it all the way up to at least here, if not the whole thing, uh, for now. We'll come back to this later. Next, you're gonna to want to open it with text edit. Now, I've got this running for, uh, for, um, for me, uh, my guild in World of Warcraft. So I'm just going to go ahead and blur out these passwords. There we go. Uh, my guild blades of obsidian on my account for World of Warcraft, and um, that's the Ventrilo server information. So you can see here that's the name, that's the phonetic because they are real words. Excuse me. Um, this is. The, this is where the admin password goes. This is where the regular password goes. Um, here, the one on Silent Lobby means that uh, no one can talk in the lobby. They have to move into a room to talk. Um, here, I have it set to the Speaks codec which, codec, which is the only thing supported by the Mac Ventrilo client. And I have it set to 10, the highest format possible. Because if you have it set lower, it sounds really weird. No. Um, so there you go. Uh, now, now that you've configured your INI file to be exactly what you want, and it's pretty simple, it's basic stuff that you need to do, nothing too fancy, you're going to want to scroll down, three, and it should be right here. Here is the command that you're going to use, sort of. I mean, I know that sounds confusing, but just, just hang with me here, work with me. What you want to do is you want to open up terminal. I'm going to go hope, open up a new window. Huh, never seen this before. Open up a homebrew window. Let's take a look at it. Maybe not. There we go. This is, uh, now I just, I have it running the homebrew theme, but you can have it running the default theme. It's really not important. Um, what you want to do is you want to change directory. Right now you're in the user folder. My user is obviously Perini. You want to change directory to whatever you named your folder, wherever you named your folder. And uh, then you want to run... the INI file in a da then the command you want to offer it is dash F and then you want to also tell it where 
the INI file is. And if you hit enter, it will give you all your basic information, which you've already plugged in. And it'll start to, it'll say ready, and it'll start to give you connect, disconnect messages. Now, whoops, don't want to do that. There we go. Now, you're going to have to keep this running uh, for all the time that you want to be able to connect to Ventrilo. So you want to keep it going, keep it running. Um, the only other thing that you might want to do, and that if anyone outside of your home network is going to be using this that you absolutely need to do, is port forward. Now, I've done a little bit of port forwarding before. The Ventrilo server use, uses the port 3784. You forward it to your IP address, and there you go. You now have, you know, you give people your IP address that you find from what is my IP.com, which I'm gonna not show you that, but it'll it'll show up. It'll be like 69 or 78 or something dot something that something dot something, and you give people that unless you have a domain, which in this case you know how all this works. And you give people that, and they put it in, and they put in this port here, and uh, they should be able to connect given the right password. And right now, I, yep, we've got a. Uh, this would be me. We've got a whole bunch of different channels you can add by uh, logging in, logging in as server admin, and this is all Ventrilo client stuff, uh, which I will be doing a video on shortly. Um, and yeah, so this is it. It's pretty simple. Um, that is how you make your own personal Ventrilo server. And uh, for those of you who don't know what Ventrilo is, my next video is going to be about Ventrilo client. So don't worry about it. Your info is coming soon. Thanks for watching and uh, woot.